is Brandon Moon with Dragon Tail Tankara. I want to welcome you to fly tying tonight. Tonight we're going to be tying up a wired body Sakasa Kabari. I'm just for for fun time's sake. I'm going to call this the Iron Man Kabari. Iron Man Sakasa Kabari. This is going to be done using two different colors of wire. So our body is going to be a bright silver in 0.2 millimeter wire and red 0.2 millimeter wire. This is from Semperfly. I'm going to be tying this hook on the ML801 size 12. This is the Tagata hooks. These ones are manufactured in Japan. These are a great high quality hook. This size 12 is actually a short shank but it's a heavy hook so the size 12 is really a lot more like a size 14 in a standard hook than it is a 12 but that's perfect for this fly the heavier gauge on this fly with the wire is going to give it a little bit more weight to sink and we really really like <clears throat> like how that performs before we get started tying, I want to invite you to make sure you like your favorite videos, including this one. Drop us a comment, even if it's just to say hi or ask a question. We love it when people ask questions so we can help you learn, understand what we're doing, and help help increase your knowledge as well. Okay. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notifications. So <clears throat> for this one, we're going to be tying and we're tying on a new vise. We're going to be showing everybody pretty soon, but we're really excited about that. But we're tying using Fluoro Red. This is in the ADOT from Semperfly Classic Wax. I'm putting it on a Stone Faux disc drag bobbin, tension, it's a tension control bobbin. And this one <clears throat> is fantastic. The little grooves here give me great comfort and control as I'm tying. So I'm just going to take this thread and I'm going to start right behind the hook, hook eye there. And I'm just going to give a couple wraps forward. Trim that out. Now I'm going to take my silver wire and I'll explain why I tie in which wire where. Okay, so I'm going to tie the silver wire in on the top here. So I'm going to lay that on top. I'm going to do a loose wrap going over and then I'm going to tighten it down. And we'll just cover that up going back forward. <clears throat> now we're going to take the red wire. And this red wire is going to be tied in on the side inside of the hook. Okay, so they're tied in at different parts of this hook and that's going to help me when I go and wrap the body of this fly. Okay, so I'm going to build up a bulge here for the head of my fly. I'm just going to use my thread and wrap that bulge. And this is just personal taste on this part of the fly. Okay, you can make it as small as you want or as big as you want. This bulge on here, the head, is what is actually also going to help flare out and splay out my feathers nice and good okay so I'm gonna set that over to the side this is an optional step you don't have to do this I like to do it I'm gonna put some solar res thin and hard on there okay so here's my solar res the point in this is just smoothing this out giving it a smooth surface and giving it that UV on top of this 
fluorescent thread is just going to make it really glow and give a really good hot head attractor to the fish. So I'm just going to take my bodkin here. I'm going to smooth that out over my thread. So you can just see I covered up that thread. Got a good nice thread base. Now I'm just going to take my UV pin and I'm just going to cure that. So I just want to make sure that I cure all the angles on this head here. And it's just going to make that head nice and smooth and hard. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to wrap to about the two-thirds point on this hook shank. Now I'm just going to take and half hitch. I'm using a rotary vise and I want to utilize that rotary feature wrapping this wire. So I'm just going to set after I half hitch this I've got a little <clears throat> stand there for my thread. I'm going to set that over. So now I'm going to take that silver wire and I'm going to pull it down. Then I'm going to take the red wire and I'm going to pull it down right next to that silver wire and I want it to be tight so that I don't have slack in that wire I'll give it a good couple two three wraps manually okay and I don't want it wrapping on top of each other I want it wrapping right next to each other. Okay, so just like that. And it just takes a little bit of practice. Okay, now I'm just going to hold this wire and wrap it. And just make sure I get nice, good touching wraps. When it gets close to that hook point, I do have to be careful. I'll slow that wrap down just as I get to that hook point, pull it up out of the way. I like to wrap the body of this fly just past that bend a little bit. Okay, now I wrapped <coughs> these so that I can get to this point. Okay. Now this is the silver wire which I put on top. So this is going to be my inside wire. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to pinch it right up next to the hook and start to helicopter and pull that. I, while I'm helicoptering that I want to be pulling it backwards. Okay. By pulling it backwards I'm going to actually give give that the tension to actually take and break that off. And then I'm just going to take this red wire and wrap it back up towards the head of the fly. And this is just going to give me a nice even rib segmentation over the top not something that's needed but I like it okay another cool point is by tying this thread in at the front of this hook I didn't have the wire going along the body which actually makes it hard to get a good symmetrical wrap because you've got the wire going along that that hook shank so it's never going to be nice and symmetrical there. Okay, now we're going to take after we've helicoptered that one out, we're going to take some black hen saddle from Whiting Farms. You can use the Indian hen. Um, it, the Indian hen's a little bit cheaper. The amount of tying feathers you get on the Whiting hen saddle is worth every penny. So 
Um, I've pulled mine out already and I've already stripped one side, okay? But I'm going to show you a little trick, okay? There's no actual rule, that an indefinite rule about sizing your hackle, but on a traditional soft hackle, you want your fibers to go almost back to the back end of the hook, okay? And so you can see that I lay this one out, it goes to that back end of the hook when I splay that out. That's also, I use that to gauge what size feather I need to use for my Sakasa going forward. That way I'm not disproportionately giving too large of a hackle for the hook size. Okay, so now I'm just going to take and pull that down. Okay, so there, now I've got a tie-in point. Okay, and I, I take and strip the hackle fibers off the side that is going to be wrapped up against the hook shank and I'll explain to you why I do that. So I'm going to take that hackle and I'm just going to wrap it. You can see it's kind of standing up on top. I'm going to secure that in with a couple wraps. I'll pull that tie-in piece rearward give it a couple wraps there I'm gonna set my thread off to the side now I'm gonna take and trim out my tie-in piece so that I can wrap my hackle I want my thread out of the way while I'm wrapping so I put it off to the back side here I'm gonna take my tie flies hackle tweezers okay these are a lighter hackle plier tweezer. They grip better than most other hackle pliers and they're lighter, which I like when I'm wrapping my soft hackles in my Sakasa. So now I'm going to take, I'm going to wrap this. I'm going to be pretty methodical. I'm not going to rush through this. I'm going to utilize. my hackle stem to help me palmer these hackle fibers forward I don't wanna I'm going to take a little bit longer to wrap this just because I don't I don't wanna have too many hackle fibers going all over the place you're you're gonna have a few but I try and limit that and I'm just going to wrap this palmering that hackle stem over the previous one. I have more wraps to get a good full Sakasa because I stripped the other side of the stem which gives me greater control over this hackle. So I'm going to wrap that. You can see it, I I went back there came and I did what I shouldn't do and I broke that stem pulling it down just a little too tight you can see I was able to capture that though nothing's about perfection it's about execution and enjoyment okay so now I've got that I'm just gonna pull that forward and just give a few wraps over the top of that you can see I've got a good face forward facing hackle here I'm gonna take some Vacuna dubbing okay this is my favorite dubbing the Vacuna dubbing and I'm gonna use the UV black okay and this is just a nice good UV. It's got some good sparkle to it. Before I do that I'm going to take my Wonder Wax and I'm just going to wax up my thread a little bit. Okay, and you can take your fingers and kind of whack, rub that wax in just a little bit. I'm going to take a very small pinch 
of dubbing. That's even probably more than I need. I'm going to take small little pinches at a time and I'm going to create a dubbing rope by twisting that and I always twist it one direction whichever direction feels good to you when you're doing it so you pinch that on there and just kind of twist it tight on top of that that's probably about an inch maybe an inch and a half of dubbing I can wrap that like that I can use my rotary feature and create my thorax right here with that dubbing as I get close to the end I'm just gonna take and wrap that over to the front I'm gonna take my loon whip finish tool and I'm not gonna be pulling that down super tight I'm gonna do a couple turns I'm pulling that rearward so that I'm not pulling it up into that hackle and pinching my hackle down then I'm just gonna snip that thread out and there you've got Iron Man wire body Sakasa Kabari you can see it's got nice segmentation and a lot of character into this fly this fly is a very popular fly we sell I've, over the years have sold a lot of wire body kabaris, Sakasa kabaris so I figured I'd tie up a video so that you guys could take and tie up your own you can change up the color of thread change up the color of the wire and create your own color variations to this I encourage you to do so um, again make sure you hit the like button for the video leave us a comment say hi or leave us a question we love to answer those also make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notifications of future videos we are working pretty hard to create some good time video content wise for you coming out regularly so you guys have a great evening and we'll see you next time